The new Armonia Plus has been completely redesigned to include a large number of new features aiming to simplify the user experience. Operations now take place on the loudspeakers, which can be linked to amplifiers in multiple ways. Tuning sound systems and testing different speaker presets can now be done on the fly from a dedicated window. So let's open a sample project to show some of the features of Armonia Plus. The first thing we notice is that the workspace has been divided into two separate spaces, with the amplifiers on the left-hand side and the loudspeakers on the right-hand side. We can hide and unhide these spaces by using shortcuts on the keyboard. A to view only the amplifiers, S to view only the loudspeakers, and D to display both spaces. A key feature of Armonia Plus is the concept of design workflow. Here at the bottom, we will find the different workflow steps, each containing different functions that are used to design our project. These steps and functions are organized in such a way as to guide the user through the design process, making it really simple to create a project. We can switch between the different steps by clicking on them, or simply by using the keyboard shortcuts Q for design step, W for config, E for tune, and R for show. And we can then also switch between the different functions within that step using the numeric characters on the keyboard. In this case, one for add function, two for link, and three for match. And with the key next to one, we can access the arrow function, which is used to access the internal DSP properties of the amplifier. Just select the arrow function and double click any amplifier and the DSP properties window will open. Back in the workspace, at the bottom left corner, we will find the zoom and view controls with individual controls for each side of the workspace. We can also link the zoom tool for both sides and also reset everything back to 100. The same operation that we've seen before to hide and unhide speakers on the amplifiers can also be performed from the view selection tool. Under system list, Armonia Plus will show us the physical amplifiers connected to our network including information about their current status, IP and firmware versions, which can also be updated directly from here. In the operator view, we can create custom controls for our project to give system operators fast and easy access to the most commonly used controls of the amplifiers. Under events, we can see a list of any errors or warning messages that Armonia Plus has generated. In the events view, we are also able to manage standard notification alarms and have them sent to multiple recipients by email, for example. And in Registry, we can see a full record of all the events generated by Armonia Plus. Back to the workspace, let's have a look at the sidebar feature in Armonia Plus. All the devices in our project, such as loudspeakers and amplifiers, can be quickly accessed from the sidebar. To add a device to the sidebar, we first need to select the arrow function and then double-click the device to access its internal properties. By doing so, this device will be automatically added to the sidebar and now we can easily switch between these two devices. Apart from amplifiers and loudspeakers, we can also add groups of loudspeakers to the sidebar. Let's double-click the main group, for example. Again, once we open its internal properties, we can see that this group is automatically added to the sidebar for selection. In the view selection bar at the top, we can open the list of the most recently used devices and which are currently being displayed in the sidebar. By ticking the checkboxes, we can make a manual selection of the devices we want to see in the sidebar and we can also delete items from our view list. So, this was a quick overview of the new interface of Armonia Plus. If you have any questions about this or any other videos in the series, please feel free to contact us on support.audio at powersoft.com.